Hello and welcome. My name is Nilaus and this is episode 32 of our Let's Play campaign of Factorio Belts and Blocks. And that green red blob there is really something that needs addressing. Look, that was actually interesting to see. It follows that one further, probably because there's a lot of forest here, but no forest there. Cool. Uh, we are <clears throat> getting occasional attacks now, and I don't like that. And it's primarily because of the desert and also this down here. These guys out here might become a problem with a not so distant future. For example, down here, here as well. And all these things add up to just now we need to do something. What we need to do is have fun. I'm going to build a tank and I'm going to take all of this junk and then I'm going to go out and I'm going to slaughter some biters. And you're going to see how efficient this is. Unfortunately, the only thing we can do is drive on. What? It's coal. Okay. I don't know if we can drive on something else. And let's start by going down to the desert and see how things are going there. That's a lot of uranium coming in. And this is the one. We'll head up. Oh, look at that. Smash. Oh, that was so awesome. That was actually really fun. It was just, it's been stuck there forever. Well, forever, but for a long time. I have to be careful about my using my uh, robots because they're kind of fragile. Let's see. Oh, it's actually right here. Let's jump out. Get in this one. All right, cool. Pick it up. Switch to the tank. Boom. Jump in and switch over to this one. I will take all of my robots and put in here because I don't actually want the robots to do stuff. I'm a bit concerned why I... I know I drove away from them, but they must be really far away. But this is unfortunately rather slow. Let's get some more research. Um, I only have four researches I can do, so let's just take one of them. Oh dear, it's slow. But I think that we are gonna be very, very efficient in killing this. All I need to do is then stand still for a second and then it'll be back, chopped back up. There we go. Let's give it a shot. Rolling down space and... Yeah, I like the tank. It does stuff. It gets stuff done. Look at that. Go straight for the, the tough ones. And I have to. The part about this is the balance. Um, the turret up here has to twist and turn. And that takes a bit of time. Uh, so try not to change direction of what you're shooting at. So start, try and get it to shoot primarily forward like this. It's much more efficient. And then we move it back. Cool. Awesome. And I'm actually considering whether it's worth it just to get my robots out there. See if they are going to go jump out and repair. They should be. But they shouldn't be doing much else. That means they should still be safe. Smash. I'm going to come in from the side. And now I'm being overly careful. Because Okay. Thank you. I don't, I don't like this. Oh, I, I don't know if I don't like it, but I just don't use them, to be honest. This one, that's just killing, hitting that angle. Killing the stuff behind me. The big worms, they're the only ones that really are dangerous. Anything else I can drive away from. There. And these guys. And hold it. Am I repairing? Yes, I am repairing. But it's with nanobots and not with uh, robots. It's a bit strange. Why am I not doing it with robots? Okay, keep going. And I have plenty of materials left, so do not fear. This now I have to be careful about my my little robot there. I have to really be careful that they're not going to be get broken. I have to make sure that I st stay, these guys stay on one side. 
Well, that look, they're actually doing stuff to me. That's actually a bit surprising. What are you guys doing? Oh, shoot. That's why you don't have... Come on. Kill these guys. Okay, now I'm going to just use it as a more of like a fortress moving forward. Blue ones are the dangerous ones. There. There, kill these ones. I'm just trying to see if I can move slow enough that my robots can actually heal me while I'm doing it. Repair. Technically not heal, but whatever. Okay, now they're going up here and they're healing each other and they're doing all sorts of stuff. Let's see. Okay, it is just me that they're attacking. Cool. And go back in. There's kind of two ways. There's the strafing one. I'm just trying to strafe my way and then cleaning up afterwards. I like that one. But there's also sort of the other one. I have to make sure that this one doesn't get too far away. Get in. Come on, get in. Oh, they're so slow. The slowness is actually the main problem. Oh, that's actually a bit of an issue, the fact that they want to go out like that. All right, let's see if I can approach this more like a like a moving turret and just see if I can kill things fast enough as it comes towards me and then still make progress. Don't want anything here. It's gonna be tough, you know. This part is the toughest part. That's the one that has to be kill, 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 kill. And look at that, they're slaughtering my poor robots. No, you don't. Do not kill robots, please. Now I go down and kill worms. And go back. Kill the stuff that's chasing my worms. My robots. They're not my worms, they're robots. I can also just drive through them. They're also quite... It's a tank after all. They can drive through things. Yes. There. Okay. That worked. No one important got hurt. Oh, I've lost a lot of these. I definitely don't want to have my robots out. There. Go back in. 26. Oh, look at that. Someone survived. You're also going down there. Cool. Yeah, that's not a good idea. We're going to let the nanobots take care of it. What? Okay. Looks amazing with these bullet trails. That's a mod, that's bullet trails. It's really nice that I can see where I'm shooting. Still no green, no behemoth biters. This is kind of the point where you're really strong compared to them. That's when you have tanks and uranium ammo, but they do not have behemoths. So use it, abuse it. And get some ground cleared. Okay, and then we hold up, up, get a repair kit, and repair. Might as well help out, so it doesn't take so long. Next up, this little base should be easy. Just trying to go straight through it. Cool. Now let's see where we are. I think I want to take some of this out, and then maybe go upwards. At this point, just go here. It's going to smash through this forest, and that is impossible. I can do some flame turrets. Not that I'm ever going to use it, but I just want to make sure that I take all of the research that is possible. All right, here come, here they come. And I do not have any, any healing or any... So I, not only do I have to stand still, I also have to get out and switch. Let's get a bit closer just to make more intimate fighting here. Got it. Let's get these guys and then clean up up behind me. 
This one is dead, fine. There are some few things that are dangerous and a lot of things that are totally not dangerous. Blue's running behind me, not dangerous. Heading towards worms, very dangerous. Uh, driving straight through worms, whoa, hold on, that's probably, that was a bit dangerous. Let's be honest about that. And let's go. Good. And let's jump out and repair. It's a good way of just repairing a bit. I'll take uh, this one southeast of me. Then we'll head out. Or head north. Yeah, we get Notice that sometimes it's really not shooting because it's uh, the turret is twisting. For example, now it didn't work. And now it's just keep the angle more or less the constant. First we break, we jump out. What's the guy doing? Okay, there we go. One more. Let's clear this one as well. Why not? Ooh, that's a lot of things going on. Ooh, that's actually dangerous. That's a hell of a, more dangerous than I'd like. Okay, let's get the hell out of here. Get some space. Okay, let's clear this up. The stuff that's haunting, chasing me. That one. Jump out and get back in. To turn around. That was maybe too close for comfort, to be honest. Repair, go in, move up. I feel that the tank used to be better. Or maybe I just used to be a better driver. Maybe it's because I'm going straight in and instead I should be running out and just basically considering them dangerous. Just do this instead. And only once all of these are taken care of, then I start cleaning up crap. That's probably a lot better, actually. And jump out. Here, repair before going through the forest. Okay, and now we're heading straight up north. Because we need to get up there. Come on. Oh, not working. There. Come on, tank. Go through the forest like it's a forest and you're in the tank. Yeah, I should have had rocket fuel or something else to speed this along. But I am also going through about the densest forest I can find. See, there's something up here that I need to take care of. Let's try and do a strafing run around it instead of going straight in. Okay, let's see that. There. Much better. Only once that's done, then I can take care of all the stuff that's chasing me. That's how it's done. Much better. All right, so that's just poor technique. It's not the tank that's gotten worse, it was the driver. And now the driver got better again. Okay, is there anything that one is, is the only thing I can still research? And I think up here, yeah, let's go over here and just clear up some space. Let's take this one as well. Clear all these worms first. Yep. God, kill the worms. Jumping out and 
let's repair this before going into the next next little town there. All right. It's just a lot harder to strafe once you're in a in a forest. Oops, accidentally killed that. There we go. Oh, there's still a little, little one left behind. Okay, and we need to strafe again. Here. Just go around it, go around it. There. Oh, you're still alive, really? Jumping out and getting a repair pack. I guess the repair pack is the faster way. Just the combined. And there we go. The sub in the copper deposit is also definitely up for grab. I need to get around these guys. Yeah. It's spawners and it's worms that I need to kill. Everything else is just secondary. Because once it's done, there's no nothing more that's in. It's dangerous. There, see? Not dangerous anymore. And I think I can take this one as well without being stumped. Those medium spitters are also kind of annoying. There. Perfect. Let's jump out. E repair pack. And the health nanobot to help out. So we get up to I know that some may think this is a boring episode, but I think it's also I mean what's the point of having biters if you never interact with them? And I am deliberately chosen not to have a wall base this time. That means once in a while I that's it. No more research. No more research. That might actually be one. That one, for some reason, I did not even choose the first one. So if I don't have... If I'm not using these, what's the point? Or if I'm not going out and killing biters, what's the point of having military science and going there? So that's part of it, right? Oops, did I remember to switch back there? Get in the tank, please. Now there's a few up here that we need to take care of as well. And then after this one, I might just go out around and kill some more. Okay, there's still a bit of research. It can be done. Let's do another loop on this. And then clear up anything that's trailing. Before heading into the next base. I wish we could get some regenerate... But generating uh, self-regenerating armor, armor that would be nice. Okay, we did not take much damage from this, so we can take on one more base. It really depends on how many worms there are. This one, for example, doesn't really have any worms. And there we go. That's that one. Okay, the next one is already. Engaged. That's a big one. That might be a bit tricky, but we'll give it a shot. Just trying to be a bit careful. Keep going. Worms. Kill the worms fast. Just go straight in and kill them. Get some spawners here. Some more worms. Slaughter them. More worms up here. Let's get rid of them. The last few worms. And now it's just cleaning up whatever is chasing me. There. Cool. Jump out. Get this one. Have nanobots repair as well. Oops. There. Okay, where are we on this one? So we clear out this space and I just need to clear up some more up here nothing up there and then i can take out some of this one and that one on the next episode or before between episodes so we are back to the base 
basically while we're doing this i can uh, just say the next target for my base building is definitely the purple science because I mean, our research has completely dried up because we don't have purple science it's also to be expected oh, that's a beautiful autumn forest we have here i'm just gonna go straight in there isn't really that much there's still something behind us one more there these are some small ones. They're probably because they haven't absorbed a lot of pollution. Or maybe it's just random. I don't know. I don't really understand it. We can still go. Wow. Continues. There are just infinite biters on this planet. Since the planet is infinite by infinite, then that's probably true. Yeah, okay, that's as far out as I want to go. I want to go up to this lake and just clear out that space around the lake. They look like small deposits or small bases that I can just take without too much of a hassle. And then save on the repair sessions. Oh, there's, there's stuff out here in the wild that I don't see. There's also something up here, right? Good. And at this point, I think it's better to repair and then before moving it. There's at least four bases. That's what we're going to take. Basically, oops, there. Basically, once I take... Once I make the purple signs, then I have pretty much all I need. And then I'll go through a, a kind of a phase where I'll be scaling up a lot of things. I'll be primarily needing to phase everyone and everything into blue belts. That's going to be a pretty drastic amount of work. And while I do that, I will also be tapping more iron deposits, copper deposits, all of these things just to scale things up. Because they are definitely not scaled up fast enough. And I think that the, one of the ways I want to do it is by taking multiple red belts. I'll take everything in on red belts, I think. And then I'll convert it with... Um, I'll make the smelting columns that I have today. I don't want to change those because they work. And it's not time to do beacons yet. Cool. That's the last research we can then do. Let's have a look at where we are in terms... Sort of in the grand scheme of things how much space did we get we got a lot of space out here not a lot out here actually but i'm probably just going to go down there and around and up that is not right now let's repair and i'll actually pick this one up and drive the car because it's faster go i should also have I should have used some better fuel, but I don't really have any more fuel. Once we do all of that, it's... Oh. Hold on. That's the problem of driving the car instead of the tank. This one is not as great at driving through things. But I kind of have to drive further because I have to drive around it. Anyway, so I will of course be launching rockets. That's... Uh, it goes without saying and i'll be uh, it, it will not be a uh, one rocket per second or one rocket per minute even base that i do not think it can do i um, simply because the belts are not supporting it but i will scale it up to a decent size where it's just running and i want to see all the belts flowing and i want to see the blue belts everywhere and all of that it's going to be really good anyway so i'll be uh, continuing some of this slaughter of the Fighters. and once i'm done with that we'll be back in the base in the next episode and continuing on the purple science so with that i think we'll be going to wrap it up here thank you very much for joining and i'll be seeing you next time cheers